babysitting in the neighborhood. Jennifer babysits for some of the families in her neighborhood. She wants to decide how she can earn the most money. She has made a chart that shows how long she usually babysits for a family and how much she is being paid for her job. So here's the chart. The Roberts family, she works six hours and she gets paid $30. So how much is she making for every hour? Luke? $5 an hour. So you need a dollar sign and you need the number five. Okay, the Robinsons for six hours, she makes $24. How much are they paying her per hour? Eloise? $4. Okay, pause from that. We're going to come down here. Which family pays the most per hour? So most is going to be our keyword. And what is the hourly rate? Which family pays the least per hour? Which would pay more? Eight hours of babysitting for the Oberlin's or seven hours of babysitting for the San Giacomos. So you're gonna really be pre pre uh, comparing two equations. Whatever the Oberlin's pay per hour times eight, and then you're gonna compare that to what the San Giacomos pay per hour times seven. And you're gonna say, which one makes the more? I want to see the equations. You need to write both equations and compare. Okay, on one Friday night, Jennifer is asked to babysit for two different families. The Robinsons need her for five hours and the Lings want her to babysit for four hours. If Jennifer can only take one job and wants to make the most money, which job should she take and how much will she earn? So again, right, you'll need two equations and compare. On a different Friday night, the Roberts offered Jennifer a five-hour babysitting job with a $4 tip. And the Robinsons offered Jennifer an eight-hour babysitting job. Which job should Jennifer take? How much more will she earn? So again, I need the two equations and then you'll need to compare for each one of these. Okay, now this is not homework, but you can finish this during RTI tomorrow. This should not take you that long. They're simple multiplication facts. Okay, you may go back to your homeroom.